Hello everyone and welcome back to another Apostles of Machinjuko podcast. Firstly, I would like to say thank you to everyone who's managed to watch the previous podcast and we hope that they have been of some help and of some value to you. And we hope that they'll help you in your journey getting closer to God and we hope that you'll see you'll find that you are seeking for. So for this week, we wish to discuss on the topic of the value of Masowe. See, many people don't fully understand Masoe, or when they see people worshipping in Masoe, they view it all sort of as a backwards religion, and that these people don't really know what they are doing, because they see people sitting on the floor, and they see them with their shoes off. But I feel like a lot of people do not understand the value that was in, or that is in Masoe. Sometimes it's one of the places that you need to come and see for yourself in in order to understand. But I will take you through a bit of the history of Baba Jawani and the prophecies that he made that were valuable into the whole world and to society as a whole, and which is sort of the stuff that attracted many people to come to Masoi. So in Baba Jawani, when he first started his journey and he was in Mount Marimba, the people heard of a man who was doing miracles and they went to him because they wanted to find out what was, what was going on. And who was this person who came out of nowhere and was causing so much noise? And so when they went and they tried to arrest him, there was a miracle that happened. And they came there and they came looking for him and they had multiple dogs. But they had to call off the search at the point where it was reported that those dogs started forming multiple heads. And it was at the times when they would find Baba Joani, he would just disappear and they wouldn't be able to see him. Or if they did see him and they tried to tie him up, they would put ropes on him, but nothing would be able to stick. And it was him who actually told them, no, if you actually want to capture me, you have to do it like this. So these are sort of the stuff and the miracles that show the amazing works which is done in Masoi and done by the church that we follow. The value that is in Masoi because you do not find this kind of works happening in the modern world anymore this sort of works you last heard in the days of paul's and in the days of peter on which people say that the holy spirit was last active then and they think that god has gone into hibernation for the last two thousand years but they do not know that god is still actively working within the human world and so in the case of baba's joani when he had been taken to the prison another amazing wonder started to happen even to the prison guards that were there and they saw this that when Baba Joani was locked up and then in the mornings when they would come to to look at him they'll find that his jail cell was open and he would be outside and he would be singing the great Hosanna with the prisoners who were there and everyone was amazed at this so when they were amazed they came and they asked him and they said tell us what what is it with you tell us what is going on what do you want and he said that i have been sent by the father in order to liberate those who have been sent to the africans and once i have liberated those i have a mission for the whole world for there is something that my father wants because he sent me and when he sent me he gave me the name and he said i shall call you joan the baptist and he said i was given this because i am the beginning of what is more to come that's why he was given the name Joani, because Joani meant the beginning of more that is going to come. And when they said this, they still struggled to believe him and they still fought with him. But then he said, no, but you shall see a great wonder. For tomorrow you shall see a horde of locusts that shall come and they shall cover all of Sainsbury's, which is what we call Harare today. And it was in that place that when it happened, They came to him and they asked him, what is it that you want? What is it that we can give you? Because we have seen this miracle and tell us what it means. And he said to them, what I want is for you to build me a church from Cape to Cairo. From the beginning of Africa all the way to the top. And what he meant was, and they said that, unfortunately we cannot provide you this because what you ask is too much. And he said, and it is fine, but he said, regarding the miracle that happened with the locusts, is this you must know, that 
what happened, the great war that happened, which was referencing to World War I, I see it is going to come again. And he prophesies the war that started in 1939 to 1945. And when he said this, they said, how is it that we might be able to overcome this? And he said to them, for you, in order to overcome this, then all of you, the English, the British, the Americans, the Jews, you must all come together and pray to God. And only then would you be able to overcome. And I feel that this is sort of some of the values that Baba Giovanni has. This is some of the values that Masowe has that people do not seem to understand that when you come to Masowe you can speak directly to God and you'll be given answers and you'll be you know your questions and God will give you that revelation that you are seeking for and this is why you see so many people come to Masowe because there's millions and millions and millions of followers around Masowe and it is the works of God that have been done but I feel like it's the works of God such as this that is not valued by so many other people because either they do not know its history, they do not know where it came from or when they observe it, they just think it's something that is fake or it's something that is just done by poorly educated people. But this is the purpose of podcasts such as this in order to help to combat those ways of thinking in order to get people to understand more of true African spirituality so that they might be able to understand this religion much deeper and through that they might be able to understand they, their own identities to a much greater level of understanding. So it is stuff like this that we wish people in able to value Masoe just as how Masoe values other religions. In Masoe we have tolerance and we have acceptance. We have tolerance and acceptance of other religions and other Christian churches as well. For we genuinely believe that there are some lives which were saved by other churches that Masoe would not have been able to reach. Either this could be due to the different levels of teachings, to the doctrines that are there, to how we perform the how we perform our own worship, to how we sing, to how we talk some of those characteristics might not appeal to other people but other churches have different ways of worship that were able to save other people's lives and for that we give credit because we truly believe that we are all just sons and daughters to the most high and we praise him all together and we have a common goal of which we want god's people to be saved of which we want as many people who are called in order to receive that light, in order to receive salvation. And we want so many people to come back to God. And so even as Masawe, you hear cases of where they'll tell you that, oh, as Masawe, you do not go to hospitals or you do not believe in science, but we also appreciate science. We know that there are hospitals which have saved other people's lives. We know that there's medication which has saved and helped to improve the quality of life of other people. We do not refuse that. We accept it for how it is and we have tolerance and we have acceptance to it. That through science there's other people's lives which have also been saved. Whether they are Christians or whether they're not. Whether they are believers or not. But their lives have been saved and their quality of lives has also been saved. So as people of God, if you do not appreciate the works of other people in improving the quality and life of other people then you're pretty much losing the point of what God is trying to do and I think it is with this that Jesus taught us the greatest thing of when he said that there is no greater love for a man than to lay down his life for his friends and it is with that teaching in mind that I will continue calling for the unity of Masoe I'll continue calling for the unity of churches either in Africa and all around the world to come together so that we might be able to speak as people of God and to make each other see what is required for the work of God in order for it to come together and to be fulfilled. And it is with this week's podcast that I hope that people could better understand the value of Masowe within the works of God that if we're able to come together and for people to appreciate Masowe just as how much we wish to appreciate all the other kinds of religions and all the other kinds of churches that are there. If only we are able to come together, then will we truly be able to show the world of what it means to be followers of Jesus, to be followers of Christ. 
And it is that I wish to say thank you for listening and we hope that he has been of some help to you and glory be to God.